Okay, guys and gals, uh, today I, I want to do a video talk about a couple different things. But, uh, you know, I'm aboard uh, Southern Estate here. Uh, I just passed my captain's test. That was rough. It was two weeks, and it was, it was, a, it was, it was quite a, an ordeal. Uh, anybody, you guys saw the video today, I highly recommend doing the, the schooling because it's just, it, it was, the, in the end, the instructors, they really are working with you, and they really do need you to, want you to pass that test. Did everybody pass the test that was in my class? No, not yet, but they haven't done all their tests, if that makes sense. So they're, they're still working with a couple of the students. Anyway, because it is a complicated, the, the plotting is definitely, I struggled with that. You can only miss one question. And there was one question I just could not, I just couldn't get it. I, I, was, I had a lot going on. Anyway, today I want to talk about can you do America's Great Loop for under 50K? And that's all in with, um, with your boat and everything. And can you do it in a Grand Banks? And so the answer to the question is yes, and I'll explain how in this video. But before we get started here, a lot of people, like I got, I'm getting these phone calls saying, oh my God, the price of fuel is going to go up where everything's, everything's blah, 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 bad, bad, bad. And you're right. I mean, the price of fuel is going to go up. And yes, uh, but it's still the cheapest part of the experience. And sometimes how do you put money, you know, you got to equate whether what's, what is it really all about? I mean, if you have the money to spend... Uh, and what, you know, I mean, what's the difference at the fuel pump, whether it's uh, 800 bucks or, or $900? I mean, it really doesn't make that much difference. And even like I was talking to Jim the other day, and it's, it's like uh, he, he was freaking out a little bit about fuel price. And I go, dude, to get it to the house there, it's, it's two tanks of fuel. I mean, how, even if fuel jumps to six, seven dollars a gallon, it's, it's still literally, it's still the cheapest part of the trip. So anyway, I just want to want to be crystal clear on that because even like my loop my entire loop uh you know i had a three dollar an average gallon that's what my average gallon was um and uh you know it's two thousand gallons of fuel it was a little over two thousand gallons of fuel because my my bill when i was done was eight thousand dollars so anyway let's get on with the video here and can you do america's great loop for under 50k that's buying your boat and the money to do america's great loop and the answer to that, I said it earlier, yes, you can, and here's how. So you have to get one of these, uh, what, and this is the way I would go, is you'd have to get a, you have, your boat budget can't be any more than $20,000 all in. And to try and find one of these boats at $20,000, he goes, woo, what are you talking about, Paul? I, that's, that seems impossible. But there is a particular Grand Banks. It's fiberglass, and it's called the 32 um, Sedan, I believe. Anyway, and I, I just I just know this because I know I've been talking to uh, uh, one of the one of our subscribers, and I've been uh, there's one over here in Alberta, so I know where there's two of them at. The price on them, you know, let's just say the asking price is twenty thousand dollars. So now you go in and you duke it out with the owner, and you know you get a survey done, but at that price range, I mean, there's not a lot of room to uh, you know to bring the big guns out like a Seth or something like that. So you really should know what you're looking at. And, you know, it's going to take, you're going to have to get a little bit lucky too, because you're going to have to have, have some help. And let's say, but let's just say you beat them up and you get that price down to seventeen five. Um, so after you've bought your boat, um, you know, like I said, your all in boat budget can only be $25,000. And why do you need, what's the other $25,000 for? It's for the loop. And how much of that's going to be for gas? It's going to be about... Well, and we'll just project it high. It's ten thousand dollars for gas. Um, so then that gives you fifteen thousand dollars spending money on the loop. And another thing about doing the loop like that is, you know, you're saying, "Oh, you're crazy. You can't do that. That's impossible." Well, it's not impossible because the loop really is only. Um, it only really takes about three months to do America's Great Loop. So if you can't, uh, and if you can't budget it, this is after your fuel is uh, at five thousand dollars a month you know and that's for your groceries uh, slips uh, marinas and stuff like that then you know i don't know what to tell you that you're uh, you, you're you, you're in the wrong uh budget you know what i'm saying because i did it i i my budget for the month i came in i had a budget of thirty two hundred dollars a month that was before fuel and i was able to hold hold that budget on the entire loop so actually i wasn't it, it went over just a hair it went over 34 
to $3,400, but it was uh, because we jumped into the bigger boat and we weren't sure if that was all going to happen. Had we stayed on Loot Princess, it would we would have stuck to our budget. It, it would have been it would have been a dead on budget, because my all in budget when I was doing that was $135,000, or sorry, $125,000, and in the end, it was, uh, we, we finished the whole loop. That's buying the boat and everything. After everything was said and done, fuel, marinas, everything was $120,000, was $135,000. So, but, and can I recoup uh, some of that? Yes, I can, because I believe, you know, that the trawler that I'm sitting in here right now is worth probably seventy five, eighty thousand dollars $80,000, somewhere around there. So I could recoup uh, a lot of that money. Uh, not all of it, you know, some of it was, um, you know, it's not recoupable. My, my gas, you know, I can't recoup that. Anyway, I'm just letting you know that it is 100, oops, sorry. It is 100% possible. It can be done. Um, and I'll show you a couple of pictures. This is a, a great classic example of, of what could be done here. So you buy the boat, let's say, and let's just say you beat Mike up and tell him I'm gonna give you 17.5 and let's say Mike accepts an offer of 17.5. First thing you do is, and this is just my opinion, you know, you got this, it's a beautiful boat here. And again, we'll use this as an example. You know, even I think it was three years ago, this boat was listed at over $70,000. So there's a lot of value into this boat. It's got low engine hours on it. Um, I think Mike took fairly decent care of it. Uh, I don't think it's uh, uh, deteriorated too bad, but it does need a few things for it. I got, I think I got the railings knocked off in one of the hurricanes that was down there. And it's also about 600 miles out of the loop, if that makes sense, because you, you'd have to go down to Texas and pick it up. So, and then head up to here, almost uh, like what I did a couple uh, months ago, you know? And so that's a two week run and it would cost you probably seven or eight hundred dollars just to do that but the first thing i would do if i'm buying this boat right here is i would just put it a new oil cooler new transmission cooler i'd get it out of the water i would literally just scrape the bottom uh and then run a piece of sandpaper over the bottom and throw some paint on it and that budget right there you know you'd have to do that all for under a, a couple thousand dollars so let's and you know so 17.5 18.5 19.5 and this is you doing all of the work you cannot pay somebody outside to do any of this work you have to do most 90 percent of it all yourself um, and then, so now we have, we have our engines taken care of. We have our, our fuel tanks check out. I personally would polish the fuel. It's an expense and I know, uh, but I know how important it is. So I'm spending that $600 or four, you know, maybe I can even beat up, uh, you know, somebody and get it done for around $400, $500. Um, so, you know, and it's just, you know, these are just rough numbers, but that's that is something that I personally would do I would not jack around with that uh, just because uh, I didn't have any problems on America's Great Loop I had no mechanical issues and I know of boats that have already left here for this run right here and, and they're just it's one right after the next they can't they just can't they can't get rid of them I got another video coming out soon about I mean when you go do this crossing right here, there, you got you got to you got to make up your mind what you're going to do on this crossing. Anyway, let's get back to this video. Um, the, the so the boat, uh, you know, you, you've pulled it out of the water, you've rolled on your own bottom paint, you've got a couple thousand dollars in that, you've got a couple of hundred dollars, uh, you know, you probably got about five hundred dollars in your, uh, probably a little bit more than that, but I'd, I'd probably put about a thousand dollars in that engine because I'm changing all the fluids in the generator, I'm changing the fluids in the, uh, the, the gear, in the engine, I'm uh, putting a new uh, oil cooler, new uh, transmission cooler on it. I, I just don't want to have any problems. And I would also just, uh, for, uh, you know, I would check my alternator really well. And if I was having any issue at all, just change it out. It, it's not even that much money. Just if you could be done with all of the mechanical parts of it and you could get the boat, you know, I'm hoping somewhere around that 24 ish, uh, $24,000. And then you had $26,000 after that, you can do this. It, it can be done. Then you start a YouTube channel and then you got the, the expense of, uh, you know, the whole trip is a, that becomes a business and, and you can write it all off. Anyway, we'll get into that in another video, but it can be done. It absolutely 100% can be done, but you'd have to want it. You have to have the money. I don't think somebody can do it that doesn't have the money or the willpower or the uh, the the ability to do some of this work because you're going to have to do quite a bit of the work yourself. 
so you'd have to be a do-it-yourselfer. And this one down in Texas, uh, that one, I, like I said, I have talked to Mike on it. Beautiful boat. Uh, it, it got the railings knocked off in one of the uh, hurricanes, so that would have to be something. But believe it or not, and if you really, really look at this, you could even technically, this is technically, because believe it or not, uh, these little, uh, these little um, uh, Grand Bankses, these little 32 sedan Grand Bankses, which are kind of like a Euro style trawler. They have the V berth up front, um, and then they just have a big uh, upper cabin and then a, a top deck on them, um, and then a back deck on them. You know, they buck out at about $50,000. So if you got one and you went and did America's Great Loop and you had it looking like start polishing the haul out, getting it all in primo shape. When you got done with the loop, you got a $50,000 boat. Technically, you could sell the boat and actually do the loop for free. So it's, it's absolutely 100% possible. But when I say stuff like that, you have to have the 50K to put up to be able to do it, uh, to, to make something like that happen. Like I, even though you know, I did the loop, I had to put up $135,000 of my own money to do this loop. So, you know, it's the real deal. It's, it's, that, that's what it cost me. Um, and like I said, some of that I can recoup, but some of it I'll never recoup. But what, it, what was it worth to me? And it was worth every, the whole experience was unbelievable. That's, that's all I can tell you. And now I have my captain's license, and now I can go back to work. So we'll see. We'll see how all that works out and plays out. But that's what you know. That's what I'm hoping happens. But we'll see. So anyway, I just wanted to share this video with you. You got any questions about the boat? Just leave a message or contact me, and I'll and I'll hook you up. But this is a for sale by owner. I can't remember the one. There's one in Alberta up here too, and I I don't I, I don't know if that one's. But I'll, I'll get you the information on either one of them. It doesn't matter. They're both. I think both the owners are asking about twenty thousand dollars. I have talked to Mike on this one, and so I know that boat a little bit better. The one in Texas, I do not know any information on the one. There's one actually close to me, so, but I would be able to run over and take a look at it for somebody if they wanted to. Anyway, peace out. Remember, live life with no regret. I do. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.